Hi guys, it's Mary Mary, and I know I always promise a barrage of videos and then life gets in the way. So I do believe that I will be doing a barrage of videos. One reason is I just had new cable installed and the technician was hilarious. He likes my furniture. He thinks I'm between 45 and 50 and thought that I was probably a school teacher or a nurse. So I just thought that was hilarious. And now that I have more reliable cable, I do believe that I'll be filming some more videos. The f and as a result for putting you through this torture, I'll probably have a giveaway or a few in February. So I'll just enter everybody's name and pick from a hat or whatever's around here. And, uh, We'll, I'll keep you posted on that. So, if you can hear any noise, it's my schnauzer snoring in the background there. Let's jump in. What would you most likely to hear about? Mm, how about, I'll do some, a little review of Bare Minerals, and then I'll show you some products that I bought. Mind you, all I wanted to do in 2014 is I thinking about just getting Hermes, the new perfume, Jour de Hermes. Maybe some vitamin E products from Joe Malone. Seriously looking into skincare. That's pretty much all I wanted to do in 2014. However, I did get a few things. Uh, this is a gorgeous palette. This is what it looks like. Pam Bailey showed it. And I just look at how, of course, I already have a little line through it because I stuck it in my other Tarte thing. But look at how pretty this is. Isn't that just gorgeous? And the matte colors, it's all matte. Here they are. Just a really nice palette, of course. Look, pretty pigmented, like Tarte. I like Tarte eyeshadows. See how pigmented that is? Now I have to fix this one. Okay. There we go. Pretty good. So, this is the Tarte palette. Loving it. And then, this is hilarious. I'm on palettes in college. David Bowie was the man for me. And I guess he married him on. She is a model or was a model. And now she has a makeup line. These palettes with that $3.50 coupon I got for $8 a piece. There's Saint Tropez, which is this one. Nicely pigmented. And this one is Cote d'Azur. So I will be, play around with these. Very, uh, let's see if I could. Here's two colors from the Saint Tropez. Um, just real fun. I don't want to put the lipstick on or more because I do want to, to give you a review of one of the products that I purchased a while back. However, let's plow through my health care I was at Trader Joe's and I purchased this. It, it it has dimethicone and yada 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 in it. It feels really good on my face. I'm practically, it's been so cold in the Chicagoland area, I am shedding. I have a humidifier which is really saving me. This is just fun to put on. Paul Bagone would have, her head would spin over though. For a serum to be in a clear container, I have it in that like Sephora bag in the dark. It's probably already had, it was like nine dollars. It's probably already disintegrating in the sunlight. And this is the luxurious feeling of an antioxidant serum, vitamin C beads, and something called resvestrol. I don't know. Vitamin C is like the third ingredient or fourth, so that's pretty good. And uh, coenzyme Q10 is like the third or fourth. So. This is really, it's really good stuff. The packaging, though, she'd have a stroke. And then 
the girl, Aunt jo it was hilarious at Trader Joe's. Even the boys were, I was just looking at olive oil for my skin. I mean, I was in so much pain. However, the girl stepped in and she's an esthetician, esthetician and she said jojoba oil is really good. I think it's tearing up my skin. I think olive oil is the best for people like me with sensitive dry skin, rosacea, eczema. But we'll, we'll see. I'll use this a little bit more. And I think... No, of course that's not it. I just have a few more things to go and then I'll show you some cool things. Ulta had a deal where if you bought two nail polishes, you got this kit. And this kit allegedly is worth $20. So I, I got that deal, which my Ulta in a fairly large community only had four on hand. So that's kind of a scam. They should have more products when they advertise, I think, a giveaway like this. But here's one of the free products. This is really good nail polish remover. And then this is interesting, this lip gloss. I don't want to put it on now because of the review at the end of this video, but this is glossy lip balm that I like. And see how small the opening is? It's really hard to get out, but that's good for product degradation. It's, it's going to stay fresh longer. And then the two polishes that I got were Rue. This should have been $8, but I got it for like $6.75 because I had the coupon off. Um, and this is Bridget. So I got those two. And what else did I get in that kit? Oh, let's see here. This is Anchor from Zoya. It came in this little box. It's uh, There's a Zoya matte top coat. And um, this is the base coat. Of course, all right, here is the top coat. And then I also, the nail polish I'm wearing right now, I got suckered into that. This is Clinique for $12.50 because my skin was giving me so many problems. This was advertised as sensitive skin nail polish, meaning that if you scratch your face, it's not going to be as bad as if you used, I don't know, a nail polish that has all the, the Tulum and all the things in nail polish. But I think Zoya is just as good. I think that Zoya doesn't have any of the bad stuff in it. So I may have got hookered or hookered, snuckered in on this one. And it chipped right away, but at the same time, to be fair to Clinique, I don't use the base code and the top code and the yada, yada, yada. It, it's just, it's some, I'll do anything so that my skin doesn't hurt and I thought I'd give that a try. Oh, here's my little project I bet everyone's going to want to do. I have swatched pretty much all my makeup so that I could just look at a book and figure out what I want to wear. Look at how pretty this is. This is like half my lipstick. Is that fun? And then, because I was stuck in while I was shedding like a dog, Here's some more. I did faces of the day with notes, careful notes. That lasted about two days, but I'll show you. Here's one day when I used the Naked 3. And I'm really liking the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This is <clears throat> another day when I used the Marc Jacobs Gel. And I think I used, I definitely used Oh, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in 525. It was a beautiful finish. It was just gorgeous. I should use that some more. Anyways, so here's finally my review. One of the products that I purchased for Christmas, I think this was money with my mom. I think she spent like $70 on the Christmas where we weren't supposed to exchange gifts. One of the products was the Bare Minerals Beauty and Bloom. I think now you can get it for 20 at Ulta. Overall, I like the products. I think you have to have a real 
loose hand with the moxie speak your mind lipstick if you put it on too many coats and you're in you know older it's it's not gonna settle in nicely say as much as like a YSL or um, a girl on and so this is spark plug moxie bare minerals and I like that sure enough I don't know when I started makeup wearing makeup years ago before I had like that 10 year gap of not really wearing makeup I used to wear a lot of bare essentials anyways this is the eye shadow. Uh, we can't say palette. What is it when there's two of them in there? But um, these are really nice colors. Oops. Oops. And then this blush is really nice. Very subtle. It looks dark, but it doesn't come out dark. So I like that. This is the blush in the one. And this is funny. I still have my Bare Essentials brushes. And these have to be, mm, I would say, 10 to 15 years old. I think maybe even older. Yeah. So... And let's see what else we got. It came with a brush that's pretty nice. Two-ended brush. And it came with two powders. This one is in Rose Radiance. And I think you just put it all over your face. And I shouldn't use a stippling brush, but I will. And this is another Bare Essentials brush. It gives you like a rosy glow. And then it comes with this silvery, I think Bare Sands, Nude Beach. I think this is for your eyes. <laughs> and I don't know, here's another Bare Essentials So I guess if you want to add some shimmer. Okay. Yeah. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Look forward to seeing more and being entered in a giveaway or two, maybe three. We'll see.